Hey, this is John Hardison. Let's take a look at realtimeboard.com. This is a website that allows you to create online collaborative whiteboards. Now, I've already set up my account. I did that through Google. So let's go take a look at creating a whiteboard. And let's give it a name. And it's already set by default to private. I'm going to change that to public and share it with the world. Right here, I could actually click and I could add some friends that I want to invite to collaborate and I can send them a personal message. Let's pretend I've done that. I click create and then I get all of these templates, a wide variety of templates. As you can see, it starts with blank and it goes through a lot of others. Very cool. For the sake of this quick tutorial, I want to choose six hats and let's pretend I've done that. Give me just a second as I try to go into one that I have already created a little bit earlier to speed things up. And here it should be loading. As it comes up, you'll see this rectangle was already in the template as well as this circular object. So these would be locked if I try to click on them with my pointer. As you can see, they are locked. However, those things that I have added, they are not locked. I'll get to that more in just a moment. Let's take a look at the toolbar. As you can see, you can zoom out, zoom in. Of course, if I click on the hand tool, I can move around the endless canvas. It's a lot like Prezi. And of course, I can roll in and roll out. Now let's take a look at some of the other tools. This is my pointer tool. I could go move some of the gadgets and objects that I have placed in here whether it's a picture or whether it's a sticky note or maybe even a video I can move around. This is my brush. Uh, of course, you know what you do with this. Just do some drawing and some painting. Could be creative for your artistic students. This would be my eraser. And then here is where I add some objects in. This is where I add text, just like this right here. This is where I would add a sticky note. And this, of course, is where I would add some comments. Let's take a look at some of these comments. For example, here are some that I've already added. And of course, I could add some more. So as, as you go around and click on a lot of these, you'll see what I've written. And hopefully as some gettingsmart.com readers come through, they'll take a look and they'll add their own comments. But just imagine students finding resources that have been uploaded, whether they're videos or pictures or anything, and then other students from wherever could go in and add comments to these comments and resources that are already in there. Now, one of the cool tools that I like is this tool right here. And this tool allows you to put links in from resource to resource. As you can see, this particular or these particular resources were linked together. You could mind map a lot of your creative process. The coolest thing about that is if I wanted to move any of these objects around, the links move with them. So when using this tool right here to put things in order, as you move them around, all the links go with you. Now there are many, many cool things in this website and one, of course, I'm going to try to do right now is I'm going to call my son in here. I'm actually texting him right now to come in here and sit down at another computer. As you can see, he's already logged in right here. And as he comes in, let's pretend he is a student in another state and he is collaborating. And you should see him in just a moment be adding some comments somewhere in this area. One thing I can do is I can also go to chat to him and I can say, hey son, how are you? And of course I can click send. He just got that message. I of course heard it across the room. Although we are pretending that we are in different states and we are collaborating. And I see him across the room right now writing some comments. I believe he's writing it to this one right here, which I hope will post in just a minute. And when it does post, it should give me an indication. There it is. Just indicated by this number that I have a new comment. 
And my son said, it's very positive. I like how we can all work together without being in the same state. Hey, I'm glad he used proper grammar. Very cool stuff. And it looks like he added somewhere else. And I'm going to close this for just a second. And let's see where else my son has added. And I can't find that, but I did hear something was added. Maybe he was just commenting. Yeah, he was just commenting there to me. So some very cool things, as you can see. And I hope you'll give realtimeboard.com a chance. And I know this was a bit fast for the tutorial, but I've been spending a couple of hours just getting acclimated to this website. And my mind is reeling with the ideas that we could use to engage our students and help them make this world a much smaller place. Thank you.